So look, the reason why this tutorial is called Hipster Motion Graphics is simply because I thought that would be a really cool keyword to target. But the point of this tutorial is to help you create really fast motion graphics that can reveal on titles or logos. So if you're looking to do something very creative right here in After Effects using shapes and very simple effects and animations, this tutorial is gonna show you five techniques to doing these hipster motion graphics right here in After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week. So I hope you're doing awesome and I explain what this tutorial is about and you see what we're gonna create. So why am I still talking? Let's jump in the tutorial and we're gonna get started. All right, so we're gonna break all this down and if you wanna follow along with us, you can download our project files for free if you wanna break this down. So we're gonna go over to our tutorial composition and in our first technique, we're gonna talk about fast title animation or logo animation for whatever you're doing because this is about using shapes to reveal on your title or logo. So we'll do this with title layer. So when you have your title layer in here, what we can do is do something very simple. We'll open up our title once you have it typed out and you come here to animate and you just add a position and all we're gonna do is bring this down low, right? And then we'll come here to add, go to property and add an opacity. You can set the opacity down to 0%. And what we'll do is open up range selector one and we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward in time. And we'll set this up to 100%. Awesome. Then open up the advanced tab and set this randomized order from off to on. So you'll get this animation just like this and set the ease high and low to 100%. And another quick technique that we can apply is we can come here to animate and we can add a fill color RGB. And what we're going to do here is we can select a really cool color here, maybe like a primary color. And what we'll do here is come here to the range selector and what we'll do is we'll come here to start and we'll bring this down to maybe like one or two letters where like those letters are in color. And then what we're going to do is come here to the advanced tab again, set this to on randomize order is we're going to all click the stopwatch for offset and we're going to type in wiggle open parenthesis uh, maybe two comma 50 close parenthesis and now the colors are going to alternate between each of the letters inside of our title so that's really cool how you can animate titles and obviously you can do this with a logo as well as you see here and all i did was animate the position and the opacity of that layer if you're doing this with a logo so very simple nothing complicated just easy to look at and then we'll start building this out so for our second technique we're going to create this drop shadow that goes along with your title or logo it's really easy to do so we'll come here and we have our title animation here you have whatever you want and when you have your titles or logos ready to go grab those layers and go to layer pre-compose and you can call it title or logo totally up to you and what we're going to do here is take our title layer and go to edit duplicate and we'll come here to the bottom, the bottom layer we just created, and we'll come here to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and we're gonna grab CC Radial Fast Blur. We can grab this anchor point, move it to the top left or right, and we'll set the amount up to 100. Then we'll go to Effect, Matte, and we'll grab Matte Choker. We'll set the Geometric Softness 1 to 0, the Choke 1 to negative 127, and the Gray Softness 1 to 0%. Then we'll go to Effect, Generate, Fill, change the color to black, then we'll go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and we'll grab Gaussian Blur right here. We'll set the blurriness up to 30, and check on Repeat Edge Pixels. And then what we can do is toggle switch the modes until you see the blend modes here. Set the bottom layer here to a soft light, and that'll blend there very nice. You can also hit T on your keyboard for opacity, and lower the opacity as you see fit. And before we move further into our tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our 650 motion graphics starter pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphics starter pack extension, which has over 650 templates in this range from titles, animated backgrounds, social media animations, shape transitions, and just straight up awesome motion graphics. And how this works is when we need a title, what we do is come here and preview a title that we're looking to apply. And when we find the right title, we click on apply. And this will apply a full title animation to our composition that we can go into this composition and we can quickly change out our titles and we can quickly change our colors to any color that we want and everything will update in our main composition. And we did this even further for Axon Graphics, so we can apply an Axon Graphic in here. And we can quickly change our colors to anything that we want with our simple control layer. And now we have some really cool revealing animations in here, and we can take this even further with an Axon Motion Graphic Cluster. 
And now with all of our elements put together, we're able to put together a full After Effects composition with just a few of our templates from our full Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here inside of After Effects. So if you're looking to produce awesome work while, of course, saving a tremendous amount of time, you can take a look at our packs below. I will link that in the description. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so now we have the base of our animation ready to go, and we can take this next level for our third technique, which I'm calling line animations that reveal on our title or logo. Very simple. What we'll do is come here to the top and grab the pen tool, click on the word fill, make sure it's set to none, click OK, click on the word stroke, and set it to solid color, click OK. You can change your color and increase the stroke width if you want to. But what we want to do is click a point, hold down shift on our keyboard, and draw a straight line about this size, and you can increase the stroke width as you see fit there. And what we're going to do is open up the shape layer and we're coming here to add and we're going to add a trim paths and we'll open up trim paths one and we'll come here to begin of our timeline. So what we're going to do here is we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move that keyframe forward in time to maybe 12 frames and we'll set the start up to 100%. So you'll get this animation like this and right before that last keyframe there, we'll add a keyframe for end and we'll move forward in time just by a little bit and set the end up to 0%. So we're going to have this animation like this and that's fine. We can go ahead and tighten up these keyframes just by a little bit so this is a little bit more of a polished animation here and we'll make these easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard so you get an animation like this very simple and easy to work with then what we want to do is hit R on keyboard for rotation and set the rotation to about negative 45 or 45 degrees whatever direction you want to go into and what we're going to do is we're going to take our shape layer and we're going to just move it over the you know individual letters so we want to use this to reveal on you know a letter as it comes on so you can see this line will animate on and then a letter will pop up and that's really cool. So then when you have that in place, what you can do is you can take the shape layer and you can duplicate it and you can move it over another letter. And if you want, you can change the color by coming here to the stroke color and selecting you know, a primary color or whatever color makes sense for what you're doing. And now it's just a matter of duplicating these and moving over your title. So, you know, we can duplicate this one and what we can do is lower down the stroke width. So it's a little bit of variation there. And we can also go to layer transform flip uh, vertical and this way it will animate in the opposite direction and that will give us a little bit more variation. So you can go ahead and take these techniques to reveal on your main title or logo. Alright so I went ahead and added just a few more lines to this and I can see just adding a few of them makes a difference but we'll continue to add on to our you know reveal here and it'll continue to look even better but before we move on to our next technique a little quick thing that we can add to just add more design to our compositions we take one of these lines and obviously we'll duplicate it and we'll kind of move it you know offside the text here we can change the color to like another color that's going to stand out and we'll make the stroke width a little bit more you know thin and then we can take this line and duplicate it a handful of times around our composition and if you take the lines and you duplicate around your compositions you'll add more detail and everything is coming together and starting to look really good all right so next up i want to talk about adding these like quick dots in here as you can see it's coming here in the beginning it's a little juxtaposition really cool to create and easy so we'll go up to layer new solid and we'll call it dots and then we'll go to effect simulation and we'll grab cc star burst right here and we'll set the scatter to zero the speed to zero and we'll come here and set the size to 40. now the goal here is to grab our dots layer and go to layer uh solid settings remember the keyboard shortcut and what we can do is just bring down the width and the height of this and this will give us a much smaller version you know of our solid here and everything will see proportional we have a size you're happy with click ok and all we're going to do here is we're going to have this layer be up here for like maybe two or three frames and we'll go to edit split layer and we'll come back here to the first layer here we can move this around our composition any way they want come here to the second copy move it around move forward by a few frames and split the layer then what we can do is go back up to layer solid settings change the width and height make it a little bit different and unique create new and then move it around our composition and as you see we can follow this format just for maybe a minute's worth of time moving it around changing the size of the solid settings and then you get these random looks around the comp by adding this it has a nice little level of reveal you know animation detail to our composition and we can keep this above our title or below it. it's completely up to you how you want that to interact with your composition so a really cool quick technique that you can use in our final technique, we're going to go ahead and create a polygon animation like you see here. That's just very simple reveal, really cool. So what we're going to do is come here to the top and we're going to grab the polygon tool and you can use a stroke or a fill, whatever you want to use, but we'll draw a polygon here from the center. We'll come here to the line tab and make sure this is centered in the middle of our composition. 
And what we're going to do here is come here to Polystar 1, come here to Polystar Path 1, and we'll set the points to 6. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a keyframe 4 points, and I want to move forward in time, I don't know, maybe under 10 frames. And I'm going to set the points down to 3. So what's going to happen, it's going to simply just transition into a triangle, and then maybe after like 2 frames after the last keyframe, I'm going to bring in the out point all the way in. Awesome. And if I want, I'm going to go ahead and change the rotation of this to maybe 90 degrees. So now we'll just have this in here and that looks cool. We can change the color or whatever we're looking to do. I also want to come in here, go into the contents, go to the Polystar 1, go to the Stroke 1. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus button for the dashes because I think this looks cool. And I can come here and decrease or increase the dashes, whatever I think I see fit for. You know, I'll bring the dash down to maybe like 11 here. And I'll bring down the Stroke width. And then you can take this element and you can duplicate it around your composition and bring down the scale like we've been doing. Or we can duplicate it and we can just time turn on the fill, set the solid color, and we turn off the stroke. And we can just scale this down. And we can just offset this layer in time, you know, and create some duplicates here and we can move it around our composition. But essentially the gist is, it's just going to add a nice level of random detail to your composition. Um, and if you want to move it around or customize it, obviously you have all these options. And with all of these elements brought together, you're going to have a really cool scene with all these graphics that can reveal on your title or logo. So a lot of cool elements for you to use however you see fit. So that is our tutorial on these hipster motion graphics right here in After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.